Ngihumu saka manja zako eno where you stay, koko pinfield, where your parents stay, ebe pinfield. One of them is vacant and your mother is like, if you don't want to live nati, mtanam enzini, because you feel encroached upon, we can just, you know, strip that room, si pende, si faga tile, and while you are getting your life back together again, seeing as your business crashed and burned, you can live there, ube le privacy, it's got its own unsweet bathroom at least. So, gini, eso wetu e pesta, e pinville, gune room na panze, that your mom is willing to strip and paint and put tiles and whatnot, for you, while you are situating yourself, getting your act back together, again to live there we so sad and when i want to begin and then my and jimmy boroto a sicky hot a lot of bread bini di roll di ban sick i'm gonna look at ya but i hope my nanny has 17th birthday you've got all the food you need but you still insist that you want to be a restaurant here you want to paint the town red oh who puts the design cut as oh who puts the pronouns early it's a good guy guy and for those prawns you are prepared to sleep with some dude to give you a business deal to sign off a tender so you don't have to move back home to your parents house you don't want to move back you know some of y'all don't, didn't even have like in that situation like a extreme some of y'all didn't even have to move back to your parents house just stay in the apartment that you're in some of y'all you literally slept with men to get a promotion so your existing lifestyle would have been maintained without settling but you want to level up because you think you're sierra you want to level up the issue here is that you want to level up and because you want to level up you are prepared to squander your virtue and now you are looking at me saying Ure, i think i'm better than you you're saying of me or not i think i'm better than you because i can't talk about it i cannot wash your corner or a scurvy because i don't have vitamin c in my bones i'm not malnourished if i wanted to get fat i could if anything i'm kind of gaining weight since i stopped working out also i've got internet access 24 hours a day I might be living in a shack, but I guess what? I'm cooking on a very comfortable. Okay, Rubalang, like properly, seriously, very comfortably in every night. It's got an electric blanket. I can eat as much food as I want. I just don't though, because you know, I'm trying to keep my figure a particular shape. But if I wanted to get fat, I could. I could. Is that basic? I give a little jogger. I just need to drink, you know, a little bit of water. Kisha bogotonyana to give myself energy, and I can do seven laps around my neighborhood. Because I've got enough energy in my body, because I've got enough food in my body to do seven laps of a jog. Yeah, but I'm living in a shack at the back of my mom's house. I lost everything. I get my career. And around my period, yeah, it sucks that I had to go and scratch around for tampons. But even if I didn't have tampons, I wouldn't be dripping down my leg with blood. I'd be able to use toilet paper. Like, you know when you've got alternatives, when you've got options that can enable you to take a way out. Mara, I am uncomfortable. Who eat Shimona? Like a lot of jersey, yeah, fleece instead of lamb's wool. Cause we're not all that cashmere chick. You want cashmere, girl, hey? Oh, but like cashmere, how about the wool? Yeah, so you're poor. I feel like you're poor. You're poor. You're poor. You're poor. Top of that, no, how are you going to get the dawn? No, how are you going to get the dawn? The aqua cream. But no, you want body shop, body butter, body shop, body butter, body shop, body butter. Hmm. What a body butter, girl. Hmm? Oh, what a body butter. Go Chinatown. No, you the vitamin E oil. Eh, you have 20 rand. But no, you want Justine tissue oil. Justine tissue oil. Because it's your kind of stuff. Yeah, no. Okay, like, there is kojic acid to deal with your hyperpigmentation. But you want the one Elia L'Oreal vitamin C. Ugh, that one, that costs 570 rand for a small little 30 milliliter bottle. I want that one. So you're going to go sleep with a dude even though you've got perfectly viable tissue oil from Chinatown. Just read the ingredients. You will see that it does the exact same thing as a Justine tissue oil. You've got kojic acid. You've got vitamin C. You've got retinol from China. Top of that, you've got a warm bed, electric blanket, and everything you need to restart your life because you've got 24-hour internet access. I get your business crashed and burned. Your, your business did not quite succeed because COVID-19 slapped everybody silly like a bad man with a wife beater. All right. Very well. Cool beans and bananas. But your mama got Wi-Fi. You got 24-hour internet so you can do data calls seeing as you can't, can't, you can't afford to buy at time. You're a little bit broke. You know, it's a bit stiff. But you can make data calls. Look like you got enough air time. Can do the Wi-Fi. Yeah, go ahead. You also have got access to the internet, so whatever little connections you must make, whatever emails you gotta write, whatever you might need the internet net for, internet for, you got that down, and it's not going anywhere. Top of that, I'll borele. You can always just watch Netflix. Fine, so you don't have access to strawberries and blueberries, superfood type fruits, but your mother always got a bowl of apples. So I mean, really, you can do without blueberries for a few months, maybe even years. You can do without blueberries for a few months, perhaps years. 
because at the end of the day, you've got strawberries and not strawberries. What do you call this? You have got apples and bananas. You know, basic fruits. Those ones that we grew up with. Not not too fancy. You don't got no kiwi. You don't have mulberries. You don't have guavas. You know, like exotic fruit. You don't even have mangoes. Just apple, Linjefel. Apple. 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 Ish. Apple. 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 Apples are so boring. But an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now the apple, you don't have a strawberry. Apple, it'll do. You have everything. You literally have everything you need in order to live a life in godliness. Coupled with the fact that there's always a cheap alternative for everything really expensive. You can always buy a no-name brand from Muesli where before you liked a particular brand. You can always bargain hunt. My oh my, how I bargain hunt for turmeric. Hmm? Traveling all over the Johannesburg just to find the cheapest turmeric. But it's turmeric. It's cloves. But you found them in some deeply buried other supermarket that nobody knows about. And they are a good 35% cheaper than the ones at Diskim. But it's cloves. Fenugreek Greek seeds, you find them in a corner of Diskim where the other ones that cost 15 rands more are at. If you can bargain hunt and if you can make things work and if you can DIY stuff away before you used to buy it off the counter. Yeah, it's a bit uncomfortable. It takes you a little bit longer to get stuff done. Because now you have to make everything from scratch yourself. You got to make your own body butter. But bottom line is you have it. I used to love Body Shop's body butter. It was just so moisturizing and nourishing. And I would mix it with Justine's tissue oil. Well, now I just get some vitamin E oil or vitamin C oil from Chinatown that costs 30 bucks. And I grab aqua's cream. And I mix that aqua's cream with the the, 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 the hair growth oil that I buy from Discam. It costs 35 rand. Next to that vitamin E oil, mix it in my concoction. Yeah, aqua's cream. And I've got myself almost as excellent a product as the Body Shop Body Butter. It's got all these nutrients and ingredients in it and it keeps my skin nice and supple. So yeah, I, I don't have Body Shop's Body Butter. Neither do I have Justin Tissue Oil. But I got a Body Butter and made it at home using Aquas Cream. I have a particular preferred brand of roll-on and spray deodorant. But I use the ones that my mom's uses because I don't have a choice. Beggars can't be choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. Mm. I preferred to wash my body with shower gel because it's less stripping. Okay? Its surfactants are not as harsh as lax palm leaf. <laughs> but that's all there is. <laughs> I hate it. It strips my skin so much to a point where I have to add extra oils in my body butter so that I don't get dry. Like, dry. But, kiss it, but, young kids, if you want to Guys, it is true, like in the worst way. I prefer shower gel and that little scrunchy sponge. A little of it goes a very long way. And you moisturize your whole entire body and you just feel so good inside. And it smells so wonderful as well. I used to love the shower gels also at Body Shop. I like I can't wait for the day when I can buy stuff at Body Shop again. It, it's literally my, my, my best little cosmetic store, okay? My favorite. Mm. Yeah, but I haven't walked into Body Shop in years. Except maybe just to like go in there to window shop and just smell the fragrance of those beautiful body butters only to leave there all nostalgic that but when am I ever going to be able to buy body shop body butter again? What? Hey? Yeah. But not having shower gel and body butter from body shop is not a train smash when I've got Lux or palm olive or even sunlight green bar soap. It is those. <laughs> With aqua cream. So you just put some glycerin in, a hair growth oil that is multi-purpose also for a body oil, and some vitamin E oil, and you've got yourself a body butter. Fine, get some mum spray instead of my own preferred. I used to prefer, what was it? I even forgot, right? I had my own brand preferred of um, spray deodorant and roll-on, but now I use whatever my mom is using. Similarly too, I'm a sucker for mayonnaise. Hi, Salimo, Jaratenga, Gilly. Because for me, it's like, ah, anyway, I guess I'm going lose weight. I eat what's available. That'd be my condiment. Because I eat your mayonnaise. I see your naked eye. I'm not gonna go me and you're not that you get in mayonnaise. I've got food. It's not like I am bereft at all of food. I have everything I need. And as for what I eat, as for what I eat, it is preferable for me to have my meals a particular way, but I haven't eaten what I wanted for a minute. And on top of that, I love chocolate. I love chocolate. <laughs> I love chocolate so much. And I can go months without chocolate because I'm not mad. Yeah. I can go months without cake. Because I have money. But it doesn't matter, yo. Because those are luxuries. Those are satisfiers. Those are extra milers. 
Those are satisfiers, not hygiene factors. But guess what? I got bread and butter. I got peanut butter and I got jam. And I got whatever food my mom ca- co- cooks. When I let you get me, we got that. I'm not malnourished. And like I said, if I want to get fat, I could. If I want to get fat, I could. I put as much food on my plate as I desire. When I'm fasting, it's not because I'm forced to do it. I'm fasting because it's a spiritual discipline and I need to go and ransack all of y'all's demons. But I'm not fasting because I'm not that poor. I am poor, but I'm not that poor. Coupled with the fact that I got internet all day, every day. If you've got food and if you've got clothes on your body, with these things you must be content. Otherwise, those who chase after many riches, it's written in God's word, have pierced themselves with many temptations. Those who chase after riches pierce themselves with many temptations. It is insisting on wanting more than what you presently have. More than what you present, like perfume. I haven't worn perfume in years because I cannot tell it out I got perfume. My favorite perfume is Chanel Allure. I don't have it. I don't mind. So, can Khaseba, Palm Olive, or Lux? And roll on. Yeah, ma'am. Ain't boring. But I've gotten used to the smell. I use cheap products for my face. And they have kept my acne at bay. I use white cast sunscreen because I presently can't afford the one that is tinted. Once I have money, I will buy tinted sunscreen so I don't have to flash everybody everywhere I go with my white cast sunscreen. But for now, this one does the job. It does the job. I have everything I need in order to live a life in godliness. It's what I'm getting at. And right now, I'm chilling on a bed with a warm electric blanket and it makes me feel all fuzzy inside. I have everything. So why would I go to Minangilanda eat talk or in there and there? Epele lenje, yonk, lilimina. My mom is not kicking me out of home. I'm not out on a limb. I live in a shack that I don't appreciate. I don't like it. It's annoying. I'm also scared of spiders. And every so often there's like one in a corner here. But it's warm. And it's shelter. And I'm safe. I don't need certain things. I want them. But I don't need them. My needs are met. All that which I need, I have. Do you understand? But all that I want, I lack. I want a dermatologist, but I need good skincare and I've got that. I want certain kinds of food in my diet, but what I need is just basic meals to make sure that I don't pass away from malnutrition. I want certain products for my hair, but what I need, I made for myself. The Lord will always tell you when you feel like he's not providing for you, he will say, open your eyes, child, and then you will recognize that you do have everything you need. It's just that it's not everything you want. It is about recognizing that having a bed to sleep on is a bed. But what you want is a queen-sized bed in some kind of an estate mansion. And that's the thing that's going to make you sleep with some idiot. Little or Limina. Limina of which is going to squander your virtue and your beauty and your glory. So women, I need ding you. Why? Because I have everything I need. I might not have everything I want. I'm not comfortable fully. I want the luxuries, the, 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 the finer things. I don't have them though, but I understand it's a transitory phase. You squandered in Pilozenu in order to get um, an apartment that has two more bedrooms when you already had one with a one bed. If you had waited a little bit longer, God would have given you those additional two bedrooms if you just waited on him. But you insisted on going through it via the executive. The executive of which, that is out here being used as concealer. How to hack your now say more, 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 when these guys rock up and they're like, Hey sister, excuse me, can I buy you something? Single, I be searching, I want to mingle, coolly marry. Hi everybody. I'm I'm sorry, I'm waiting on God for a husband. You might give me temporary satisfiers. Satisfiers. You might be able to buy me things that I presently want. But don't need. But what are you in, in exchange for what? Like what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and yet lose his soul? Y'all are always going to fall short with me because I get stuff like that. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Like y'all need to open up your eyes and realize, Uguti, I might not have everything in me, in, in, but I've got basic stuff down. I have no fear for the future. I, I don't have food insecurity. I don't have housing insecurity. I don't have... <laughs> Not only did I, do I not have food insecurity and housing insecurity, I also have got 24-hour internet access, meaning that I've always going to, I'm always going to have the world at my fingertips. I'm always going to have an opportunity to expand my horizons using the internet. I have contact to the outside world. And for as long as I have contact to the outside world through the internet, there will always be an, gingy, there will always be an opportunity and a potential for me, for me to get snatched out from this hell. For as long as I can touch 
people out there through the internet, there will always be a possibility that I can be rescued out of this. For as long as I am still uploading my content, like the, you know how I told you guys that my content does not get recommended to anybody that uh, has not subscribed to me, but has viewed my videos. That's not actually entirely true. Yesterday I was scrolling down the comments section of a video that I was watching. And just to read, I, I was watching hair content and I was scrolling down to see how long people have stayed with their protective style. And I kept on reading and reading their comments until I saw one of my videos recommended down below. Because I watched it multiple times. I watched my own content on the, that channel, from that channel so many times. However, I'm not subscribed to that channel. Such that now I have seen that instead of YouTube... So my YouTube does not recommend my content to people who are non-subscribers per se. They do. It's just that they make sure that my stuff is down there. I'm not on the landing page of anybody. So if a person watches my content without being a subscriber... It is still possible for them to find my content, but they would have to be scrolling, 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 and the likelihood of people scrolling all the way down to page 278 is slim to none. So that's how YouTube is making sure that I don't get found. That's how they are sabotaging my content. But I have come to learn that it's not completely closed. Now, if I could find my video after going down, scrolling, scrolling, somebody else could. That's not within my subscriber loop. I have come to make that discovery. I found that out last night by mistake, by happenstance. Because I was scrolling down comments, but the videos on the panel on the side here, I noticed that one of mine was there. I might be shadow banned, but not so severely that no one can see me. So therefore, it's still very possible for me to get snatched out from these flames by somebody that is going to have compassion on my cause who after scrolling for 10,000 hours on YouTube will click on my video because it's interesting and then be the person that I need. I am safe. It's what I'm getting at. I don't need to settle for the toko tse. Mami na a. Dike le tse. Tse o me mo marame. I don't need them. I don't need these men that are going to age me overnight as soon as he's in my life. And women, I also don't need you to repent. But it is, but it is in your best interest to do so. Lama to dalawa. They are like products on discam shelves. I spoke about that the other day. They will try to make you buy a serum for 400 bucks. And you'll find the same thing at Chinatown for much cheaper if you just keep looking. You don't need them. You just need to look deeper and more seriously. And you will find an alternative that is a lot more palatable. That is not going to insist where na, that you squander. Ikan balako because you wouldn't sleep with a man to get ahead. Wait on Christ. Be prepared to move back home to your parents' house. You have a bedroom there. Some of y'all come from such wealthy families that properly when you move back home, you have got your own garden cottage. And then live full bathroom, full bedroom, everything to live in. And you also have family members that are happy to help you along, but you're insisting on sleeping with the CEO to get an opportunity that your family could not connect you with. Most of y'all are not in my particular shoes where your family are neglectful of you entirely. Some of y'all have got brothers and sisters that can help you along while you are unemployed. And yet, you are insisting on sleeping with some boarding just to make sure Oguti when I was with Lazwa from having to move out of your four-bedroom estate mansion. I saw and then you hate on me and say, nah, and then say of me, hurry. Because I'm a week at a better role, pala, eh, guys, eh, like I said, talk about a little talk. And then you expect all and like a little talk, because that's what you did. In the talk of hunting to a mat home, the pumu is fat at home, that the guy got roswa, pumulang di fat hold, the mozayang wet wipe, the pumu di fat hold. So you are not to keep grime and skunk on your faces. These men are that thing. They will mess with your face. They are grime and they are skunk and they stank. And they will mess with your reputation. And they will cause you to hate other women later on in the future. Pumulang di tok. Tuangmo baneng batsirianeng. You all are not living in the Horn of Africa. You are not in Afghanistan. You are not in so much poverty that you can't help but sleep with a guy to get ahead. Ato ko hemela. Apes munele anza ko dulo yela. Mona osa morate lo morate. Emotions matter. Do not squander your future. Namato ta anyangi sayo guys. Anyangi sayo. Muna wa muka wa muka anana li figa uwe tanka yen. Anta li pizi. Ako hemela. Oto mwe tang. Oto mwe tang. Just because he can give you a job, they trust Vele Vele. Uting is always made like you tend to be very beautiful, some of you women. That's why Bale is on Amara. But Kabaruna Bogbots, I like that thing. That very thing. That, that, that very process of you trying to keep your life is going to make you lose it. The Bible says if anybody keep it, can, loses their life for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, they will gain them. But if anybody does not lose their lives, if anybody tries to keep their lives, they will lose them. You are trying to keep your lifestyle, and in so trying to keep your lifestyle, you will lose your lives. Your lives. Do you understand? Your spiritual houses are filthy. You must clean them. Namatota are exploiting you. Ay. Namatota, they are exploiting you. They are taking for granted the fact that you are greedy. You are rapacious. But if you open your eyes ever more keenly, you will see that you don't need them. You don't. 
They are leaning on the fact that you are greedy and you desire more than is absolutely necessary. Y'all will never win with me because I get stuff like that. I use CapCut for video edits. Video edit like CapCut. It reminds me of these men. CapCut has these moods. Hey, it has these ebbs and these flows that will irritate you. You be out here getting used to one feature on CapCut and the next thing they will make it pro. CapCut is this, it's wonderful, I love it, okay? It was largely, when I first started using CapCut, it was totally, like, not totally free, but it was free enough. It was free enough, okay? Yeah. But over the years, as it has gotten popular, because it's really good at uh, editing videos, a lot of content creators are using it. A lot of people are moving over to Pro also to use its more advanced features. They have started to, to, to Pro up to essentially premium, f- previously free features. Like on CapCut Mobile, you could be able to generate subtitles, not subtitles, but captions at leisure. Free, it was free. You had access to certain palettes of makeup for free. You had certain features, you give my point, yeah, 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 etc. And then next thing CapCut does a whole, uh, oh yeah, background remove on CapCut Mobile. You could, you could remove background for free. That was like the thing that CapCut was actually offering some people. <laughs> a couple of months ago, maybe two months ago, CapCut realizes that, hey, we're making money and this feature is very, very popular. It's very, very popular. And then next thing they went on right ahead and made some of the free features pro to force creators to buy the pro because they want to make money. So now you can't background remove without being pro. Now you only have one, ca- like uh, your auto captions, you can only get one shot. Afterwards, you have to go and buy pro. Now certain palettes of makeup are all pro. You can get, uh, they're also, what do you call this? Like a motion detector. It used to be free, now it's pro. Another thing that is pro. Um, is a silent thing, a voice isolation. Like if you want to remove your voice, but then leave lyrics, or if you want to, rem- uh, so but then remove um like the background music, or if you want to maintain the background m- m- music, but then remove the sound, and so therefore create an instrumental. That feature used to be pro, used to be sorry free, but now it's pro. And then in terms of the captions, like on okay, so on CapCut PC, captions are still available for free, right? But the caption templates. So the, the one of my favorite caption one of my favorite caption templates is gone like the one that draws your lines as you speak yeah it's gone they've made it pro so if i want to access it i'm going to have to buy capcut pro type thing i use both capcut mobile and i also use capcut pc so thank god because i use pc i still have access to be able to generate free t- subtitles or free captions but one of these days they might just take captions away one of these days they might just take this away they keep doing that stuff changes but then you see the thing about that is there are so many applications on the internet to enable you to do like also another thing the filler words like to identify filler words used to be free on CapCut and now it is a pro feature and even on PC it is a pro feature when you identify filler words you can actually succeed to um, low-key fabricate a silence detection removal because it can also remove silences that now is free not free but it is pro well there's always a workaround everything that CapCut takes away like the background remove on PC, uh, sorry, on, on, on mobile is available on PC. So you can still remove background, but you've got to move over to PC. You can also still generate subtitles, again, captions, but you got to be on PC. But on the day when they remove background remove from PC for free, and on the day when they remove caption creation on PC for free, there is this uh, other video editor called VN, VN video editor, where captions are still free auto-generated at your leisure and on VN video editor I believe background removal is also free so when CapCut makes a decision to wreak havoc in terms of background removal I don't generally need background removal but I definitely am all about captions okay yeah on the day when CapCut makes a decision to now make captions pro even on PC I'm going to generate captions on VN video editor in terms of silence detection I used to use Filmora which was an expensive I, I had to pay a yearly premium for it I'm not mind. And then I found Time Bolt, which removes my silences. It is one extra step. It is onerous. It takes me a lot longer to edit, but I get to remove my, my silences for free on Time Bolt. Time Bolt is not free. It comes with a, with a, what is a watermark. A watermark. But thankfully, they made their watermark small and on the right corner, like at the bottom somewhere. And I can remove it out after running my stuff through Time Bolt. So therefore, I remove my silences through Time Bolt. And I can generate my captions on CapCut PC. I add the feature with the doll and whatnot using mobile i basically play musical chairs between multiple softwares to edit my videos uncomfortably i could do everything in one place okay i could do everything in one place 
CapCut, for instance, has got in pro, however, the ability to remove silences and filler words and whatnot. Mm. If at all I had money, I would, like, if I had a job, if I had an ability to afford myself, I would definitely. Because it would literally cut my edits by three quarters. Because I have to run my stuff through multiple softwares first. I have to run it through the phone and then through Time Bolt and then only do I go on uh, what you call this. Uh, so basically by a third, yeah. And then only kid do I go on what you might call this PC. On the day when I have a job, I will get CapCut Pro, chances are. Because CapCut Pro has silence detection. CapCut Pro has captions, of course, and the plethora of them that I need. And it also, CapCut Pro uh, uh, on PC also has, uh, on a newer computer that I would be able to purchase, my little doll. So that I can do everything in one sitting. And so therefore chop up my edits by two thirds. Mm. I would definitely go that way for the sake of convenience. But for now, because I'm poor, I have to do things at like a, a third of the speed. I have to do everything at a third of the speed because I gotta first run my stuff through one software, then another software, then another software, then another. And it takes so long. Like for instance, the exporting of the video from CapCut PC of the doll for my animated videos is just out of this world astronomically boring. It takes so long to apply that filter that if at all I, I, I was using PC only, it would be the whole thing done, go fella, with captions already added, with silences already removed. And so even if it takes long to export off my PC, bottom line is it's one export. One export. Yeah, it's onerous. Yeah, it's laborious. Yeah, it takes forever and a day. Yeah, it's boring. But it gets the job done. Because of a lack of money, I have to run my videos through multiple softwares that are, that are free. And one of these days, CapCut might even take away captions from PC. Meaning that I'm going to have to first run my videos through VN Video Editor and then only move it to CapCut to finish the rest of my edits to use the features therein. It will be taxing, but it'll get the job done. The Lord does not tempt anybody, but when people get tempted, he will give us a way out that we might bear up under it. I have seen the Lord over these years give me a way out. When my Filmora subscription ran out, God introduced me to CapCut. The law when 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 my Filmora subscription when my Filmora subscription ran out, God also then introduced me to what do you call a time bolt? He made me research until I found alternatives that are free. There are so many applications on the internet that can give you free versions of something that somebody else is uh, basically trying to make you pay for. On Filmora, captions are not free. You are given the first couple of like words free. Then after that, you gotta pay per. 1,000 words or whatever. It is ridiculous. When I found CapCut, I remember thinking Filmora's playing games. CapCut is going to knock them out the window. Out the glass. I think out the woods. Why? Because captions on CapCut are free. They still are. But at the rate CapCut is going right now, I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up taking away captions, auto captions on PC. I wouldn't be surprised. They keep taking stuff away. Tomorrow you will find a feature the next day it's gone. They take away audio, sounds, clips. It's just unreliable when you are not pro. Because it can shift, it can change, and really it's at their leisure because they don't got to give anybody anything for free. And yet they do. So my prayer is that by the time CapCut basically locks away all of the most de de like beloved features that I use on it, that I will have a job being enabled therefore to buy it pro. But the, 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 the shifting shadow nuances, the temperament of CapCut is the way that these men are. They will offer you something for free at first. And then once you're nice and hooked on them like a drug, that's when they will be like, nothing is mahala. Out here be calling your nether regions, your lady parts, ispach, or i pasela, or i pes, ikom. They will be out here calling your, your nether regions. Like I was watching something the other day and this dude called a woman's nether regions ispach. Uh, King, the, 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 the movie that I was watching, King Piano Love, on, <laughs> it made me laugh, on Netflix, this chick was accosted by some men that insisted on laying with her in order to enable her cause along. And then one of the things he said is, <laughs> translate that into English. He was basically like, how in the world do you expect that I'm going to keep on buying you all these things and paying your way like this if you don't want to open your wallet? A sparch is like slang in my languages for a wallet. Hey, <laughs> guys. A sparch is slang in my language for wallet. Okay? 
yeah, uh, it's slang in my language for a uh, wallet. So when your nether regions get called a purse, when your lady parts get called a wallet, an ATM, when your nether regions get called an e-wallet, guys, <laughs> you know these guys are far gone. Like, you know you're dealing with talk. Or you're dealing with that, Elimina. Nankutwa. Stuff that must just be wiped off your face. The, the moment a man calls your lady parts, wallet. What the heck? Why also pumuli di Grab some face wipes, y'all, and remove these buggers from your sight. I pumuleng, I kakoleng di tila taba na baba terianeng. Who is gonna go and call a woman's nether regions a wallet and be maintained in an ecosystem? Who is gonna go use such a crass sexual innuendo analogy? Speaking of something so sacred as your chastity, your virtue, spatch, bazo biza, your your goods, spatch, wallet, yo aate. Uma uzo bizo e ATM Muntu Gwamel Ayo's knitting slider e credit card in the center of your nether reason guys in no leave. You can like these men basanya. When they gonna go describe your nether regions as a wallet. Wa aksuk sangana no kuhin. Uzo ba content to go bizwa ispatch when down below. Ispatch. Ngwa mo vuli spatch, that's where Imaliangana manch. Open your wallet so money can come in. Open your purse so money can come in. When men speak like that to you, you tend to feel disgusted, right? And yet you sleep with them anyway, wincing, cringing, vomiting in your mouth. Because indeed, vele vele, you need imali. And it's kwamasako. It's kwam. <laughs> so these are your nether regions. It's kwam. It's kwamasako kwamele sivule sivule we manch. Uvule is kwam. And that's how money is coming in. Your wallet is open, but you are cringing. You are cringing. You are cringing. You are disgusted. You are vomiting in your mouth. And the, like when this man comes into the room, why take you, you, like your body, you close your body up because you feel violated. It's rape. They don't care. La Madonna. Ababiza, your nether regions is kwama, iwalat, ispach, ipes, whatever. Abenandab. Jengo babanginandaba gangaga. Because who is going to protect you other than the one true God who does not regard your nether regions in so a lowly capacity as that? God does not look at you that ridiculously. When he sees your virtue, he sees something to be preserved and only awarded your husband in a, a safe space, an environment where he has blessed, he has anointed it, he has regarded it with favor. And you're not going to get looked at and, 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 and like that and, and given the described using all different kinds of adjectives to describe your nether regions. Your nether regions are wallet. And if you open it, what the heck? Y'all can't allow any of that. You can't just keep allowing these men to speak down to you like that. Especially in the black community. There's just such a hypersexualization of women here. And so much disregard of our virtue. And the, the squandering of virgins. Betting like crude intention, Sebastian. On the purity of a woman. And then you throw each other in this water as well. Guys, I kwama for how long? How long are your lady parts gonna keep going, getting called Iquama, guys? For how long? For how long? How you gonna let these buggers call your lady parts Iquama? <laughs> it made me laugh when I was watching Piano Love. But at the end of the day, I was like, this is the problem in black culture. We, women are allowing themselves to be, you know, like downspoken like that. And then when some of us are like, hey, Haribi Gene, that's when you're like, ha, afunu buli, afunu buli spatch, go to funny business. Afunu buli spatch, go to afunu business, I'm sorry. See here, it's patch some. It's in my brain. It's kwama sam. Wabana's poko saga sizikakang. It's housing a vault. I ain't calling a crowd. It's housing a vault in 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 the diamond, the gold, the ruby, whatever. My mind is my wallet. When I open it, that's when money comes in. That should be how it works. It's patch sam. It's kwama. If you want to identify as kwama, if you want to personalize, if you want to give an adjective of sorts to any part of my body, fine. If you want to inanimate, uh, sorry, inanimatize any part of my body by giving it a description, calling it a wallet, it's my brain. This little, this, this, this uh, skull, mm, that's where my wallet is at, my mind. With it, I should be able to make money. I should open my mouth from the things coming on my from my mind and make money. I should come up with ideas, Lana, that are gonna make me money. I should speak stuff that's gonna make me money. And indeed, that's what I'm trying to do. somewhere else. They wanna go and relocate is Kwamasam. Baba tolo fast pashi saka momo tohong. Basi baya down there. Kishab, kishab, kishab. Hana moto to relocate ang is Kwamasam. Nina eni relocate to is Kwam is Kwamazenu. Basi baya somewhere else on your body parts. Basi ti Kwamazenu basi baya. 
تمام به نیز کل خشیل مودی مو بلدی که مثلا نه مودی بگو ابی من نباز در اول این مگری تا کاو فلس که مثلا خخو کاو فلس فلیت like the Titanic it sank down and went to another part of the body هر یه باری منای سامیس که ما استل هی سنت نه سیب پتیل مرا خواهد خواهد که ای آپرنتی دیلین آن موتور دون سایلان بود شباگا and my virtue because they have they tried to convert my nether regions into ipes hari pare ke maswabi ke maswa ona mona o tlong fufulelwang nang kutwa o zong tulu ya lo tlong borang o tlo botlang a ka ta mo bang si ya ka chelte kana ka wat e kana ya chelet kana kwa teng ene ke al dijo kontlong ya mewa kana kwa teng ene ke na le mpeto ke go balang kona ona le electric blanket kana kwa teng ene ke na le internet ko hai kana kwa teng kana kwa teng he tle is kwa masam si hie ene ngaso ngizo vula vele vele la masango wa kon I will open Amazango. God Almighty is going to open doors with my mind. He will enable me to speak and to innovate and to plan and to create and to and to and to until finally a door will be opened. Whatever you do, work heartily as unto the Lord. Na so is come is kwa masam si vuliwe. It's just that I want to buy a hala. Buy a hala, baba. Go get your chalete. Muaga boko baka huluki le mudim. God is the one that will provide for me until further notice. Halo don't get that jacket kept cut long kutu. Cap cut. Where it is that you give me something free today, and then tomorrow when I try to open the application again, a feature's gone. A feature's gone. Ashem, I will find it on VN Video Editor. I will find it in an application on Google Play or an Apple Store. I will find it on Time, but I will find the same feature somewhere else, even though it takes me three times the time to do the same video edits. Bottom line is, I was able to do the work. I was able to finish it, wasn't I? So, I mean, I get personally in my own capacity. It might take me a little bit longer for me to get a job. It might take me a little bit longer for me to get out of this. It might take me a little bit longer to get stuff I need. But I will still get it done. I am waiting on Christ. Patience is the key. You must wait on the Lord. Otherwise, these things will come back to haunt you. Lama Dota will offer you. Hey, excuse me. Can I buy you something? Like false in single and searching. Ya uzo tenge ni goda. Sasa uzo funugu tu vulis kwam. They will trap you. With things that enable you along, they will give you small little favors uh, until such time that, until such time that you take such a big favor that if you lose this thing, you are done for. Like he will push your agenda along, help you get a job here, help you get a job there, and the next thing he will set you up in an apartment or a house that is so expensive that on your own salary you can't afford it. Then he's going to be like, "Iskwama, kavul iskwam, iskwama, kavul iskwama, vulas patch." Or lens lena, you're not going to be able to live in it. That's why you must not let la matota. Buy you, man. So then I can't buy it. Nothing is mahala. Tit for tat. Don't let them buy you something and then trap you. Yes, kwam. Eh, do not even put yourself in a position to face having to move out of some big house that was being subsidized by some dude that is like nothing is mahala. Uzog trapa. I sorry. Eh eh. Ha, na muzo to kila ni apartment. Eh, buti ana kwa wata ongea kwa estating. Eh, ira idi mo kidi lante. Ni neba yangu bora. Every so often I pay high. Pizza ta kare di anga se zamara. Kiki kinga akantu. It's mine. It's my house. Don't let him buy you a car when you're not sleeping with him. Eh, Edle, he's going to insist to go to your house. How about when Michael Lori poses a pick and throw your house? Oh, bullas patch. They will trap you by helping you along with something, and then once you're stranded somewhere, they will then be like bullas patch. Next thing you have to get on an, an airplane and move back home. But the dude took you all the way to Paris and then expects you to return home. Us na chaldao pata la airplane. Don't let them take you to a place where you can't even. Easily get back home alone because now you have rejected the prospect of a vuli spatch in the wrong location. Spatch taco that is here. The bugger has moved it down there. Eh, okay, it's okay. Pro kalang mami na marako, marako. Pro pro sang mami na tissue, pumulang, wet wipes, pumulang bifatel. In the end, ni ngazo plama na zo evusuwe ni thinking guti concealer. I boy ri pumangui kato anizengeni. But here that's the deal. A woman with this kind of mindset. Hello to mohon. Hello to mohon. Unless you succeed, men and women, to take away my mom's house, to take away the food from the table, and to take away my internet access, hello to kuna bulas patch, letting even if you were to prosper to take away all of those things, I will die first before me nanyo bulis patch in the wrong location. I will literally die first before I will let any of these guys ubuti bazonge julugela go banki bazonda that much. Ninga mene ngas bulas. I would rather kill myself than end up na ki fufu letwe kenja. Wangu ya di dead ya talk. Mara iplomiles fatu kusara kisa ipumul niay. I don't like them ngia bazonda. Kaze oh how to zonda muna juan? Aho nze so poor so he can force himself on you one day. How you gonna not hate that? Ki maswabi banda bando na batwele. Need patches in wrong locations. Carry on opening the patches 
of women in the world in the wrong location. But then understand what it means to bump with Christian girls. Let alone to bump, to bump, to bump, and to jump in castle on Christian women. You are never going to get us. Ever. The Lord has a thing about being extremely jealous for his church. I can't believe that you are going to be a man. What's your name? 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 The baddest chick in the game. Because it's not going to be a There is not going to be a day in hell, heaven, or anywhere where I'm going to end up the wife of a man that everybody knows is a wacko. Except me. It's never going to happen. So I don't want any bolile. Any cosa women's body parts to be a batch wrong ten. I'm like that horror movie, do you understand? You've taken a wrong ten. I'm the wrong girl. And basa these chicks that have abandoned me. We get it, Basanya. Basu be the mata kwan anang the manala. We get it. Marana. I don't lean on women. I don't need the chicken chickens. Umonawa but that's got maggots. I don't rely on their recovery from it. I rely on God. And that's why like I said to win again. And see spatch me now. Making yourselves e cap cut. Nam change. Gune something free. And then tomorrow, go me remember you will like spatch me so will have a spatch the corner. Go to is for some still here. And every day if you come on keep spatch me on. Mary you like wrong location. I'm sorry, you're the one that seeing things wrong. You're the one with astigmatism. You're the one that seeing things upside down. You're the one that sees this spatch some down there and it's gonna lana. And because you don't see which spatch some is in my mind. You will forever keep on trying to crack open into that can't be cracked open. I will never settle for any of you. La nyonsa le tsiriya ni tsetsa ka ripi. And I belong to Baba said was alagati because it's a coercion, but I belong to God. I belong to the same God who delivered Sarah from the hands of Abimelech and Pharaoh. I belong to the same God that will perpetually keep on delivering his daughters from the hands of stealthy wicked men into subterfuge, Janus and Jambres that insist that hey, God is not coming for you, but hey, I got your back. I'm sorry. I am too innovative. to take in my stride in that we go to God um shiile when he has given me everything i have ever needed to live a life in godliness ana ntoke shotanga yona lantse go bugaka nka re ona ntse ke shotanga tsona there is nothing i like even though it looks like there's every the stuff i like all i got to do is open my eyes and see what grand shop i'm shooting a jack the problem here is greed the problem is rapacity the problem is wanting more than you need the problem is insisting on caviar instead of regular chicken eggs and i don't have that issue so all the best trying to really spatch some in a location grand shop where it's not at i'm signing out in christ's name crank k peace